I'm Jamie Forbes. We're here at Art Expo New York for Fine Art Magazine at the night at Pier 94. And we're speaking with Jacinthe Lacroix. Lacroix, okay. And uh, Jacinthe is the sculptress. And uh, she's here with uh, Samoon Fine Art. And they're from Montreal, Canada. And you've had good success at the show, correct? Very good success. Very happy, satisfied with the show. Justin, this is your new sculptor? Yes. Sculpture? Yes. And what, uh, the name of this is Dream of Dream Venus. Dream of a Venus, yes. And can you tell us a little bit about this uh, motif? It's a, a somewhat of a departure from your usual That's style? That's right, yes. What we try, I tried to introduce was something a little bit more contemporary. So we, I did the full figure to start with, and then we wanted to leave a little bit to the imagination. So this way people can fill out the, the empty space and create their own uh, interpretation of the sculpture. Well, she's just a rare beauty. And then the piece I particularly admire over here is... Uh, Frederick. Frederick. Yes. And tell us a little bit about Frederick. Frederick was a great model. She's actually a published poet. And uh, we decided to incorporate a little bit of the poetry with the sculpture. So this is the writing you see around the head. The last word is finished in the book and we also find a Frederick autograph in the book. And so this is multi-dimensional. Yes. And it's um, multi-art. Yes. I, I found this to be a fascinating concept because I know that Book art is actually a new art form. I don't know if you're aware of this, but they do many things with books. Yes. And words. And this is, I think, uh, I think it's the height of the uh, synthesis of the multimedia. Yes, I think so. And it was nice to, it's nice to incorporate because we like to dream with the sculptures, so it has a new dimension to it. Yes. Oh, she's quite beautiful, also. Thank she's you. She's quite beautiful. Yes. And then if we step back here, this is who? This is presence. So presence, it's a little bit of, of uh, a little bit of spirituality to it, and we have a face in in her, in her hair. So just to show, like that, we do have in my in my experience, I think we do have a guardian angel looking over us. So that's a little bit to reflect that. And she has a cross in front of her, and she's yes. having a dialogue with her spirit. That's right. Actually, questioning a little bit: is there something out there? And the answer for me is yes, there must be. There must be. So all of your pieces are metaphors. They're a metaphors bit, yes. of several concepts that you put together almost as a statement or a sentence structure. I like to do that, yes. Yes. Yeah. And behind us? That behind us is to continue a little bit of the collection of Dream of a Venus. So we have La Venusse. Uh, which again is a great piece, um, but again leaves a lot to the interpretation so that the, you know, the purchaser can basically create his own story around the piece. So the negative space becomes as important as the positive space in I, these questions. Yes, uh, I think so, yes, yeah. It, um, they're almost interpretations of torn paper or fragments. Exactly, and I also had a client that uh, she purchased Dream of a Venus and we're going to add the poem a little bit similar to Frederick. Uh, Oh, how right fabulous! So and what poem did she choose? Way, it's a poem that I created, actually. Just uh, you know, uh, what it inspired me to do the sculpture. So she it should be very interesting. A poetess, also? No, but uh, I think by the time I, it's so long to create the sculpture, you can't help but being inspired. Now, there's another piece that you've completed, the maquette over here. Yes. Um, just uh, yes. a couple of days before your daughter gave birth. That's right. And so this piece over here, and the title of this. This the plaster is, maquette is what? The plaster maquette is called La Maternité, which would actually be the name, the title for the bronze as well. But yes, I did finish it four days before she delivered a beautiful little baby boy. And his uh, name? Sasha. Excellent. Yes. Sasha? Yes. And uh, La Maternité is uh, an homage to him? Yes, that's right. And last but not least, we have, <laughs> we have here uh, Wish Upon a Star. Uh, that was actually a, originally a commission piece for parents that wanted their little girl and she's a dancer and so we thought we'd make it that she's wishing upon the star to keep her young heart and her spirit and you know the dancing all around her. Now what are the, uh, the uh, sizes of your additions and your bronzes? They never go over 12 to date because I like to keep them to So the museum quality. Yes, it's that's museum, right. Um, yes. Museum structure. So yes. the people are there, they're getting commissioned uniques and then if you go into an addition, the museum uh, sized additions. Exactly, yes. Excellent. And if people want to get in touch with you, where would they get in touch with you? The, the better way would 
me to go either on my website, which is culturedulac.com, or uh, to contact me on my cell phone, which is 557 760 well, I want to thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jamie Forbes for Fine Art Magazine.